Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of geography, we shall discuss the part 5 of Earth topic that is volcanoes. In the previous topic, we have discussed about earthquakes. So earthquakes and volcanoes are landforms types which are created generally because of the plate tectonics theory which we have already discussed. The plate tectonics tells about the plate movements which are present in the earth's crust. Why these plates move? Because of the molten magma below them. So whenever there is a liquid below a plate, it tends to move from one place to another. So moving on, what is a volcano? So first, volcano is nothing but it is an opening for various gases through which various gases, molten rock materials like lava, ash, steam will come out. Because generally there was during the plate movement, suppose there is a weaker area, so that weaker area will be prone to this uh, ejection of these. What are those? Volcanoes, uh, sorry, uh, ash, steam, lava, all these will erupt because of the weaker zone. Suppose there is a pipe, suppose I keep a hole in it, so that is a weaker zone. That that hole, through this hole all the material will come out rushing because of the high temperature and pressures inside the earth. So volcano is nothing but it is a vent or hole through which all the molten rock materials as steam will come out. So generally the major part of a volcano will be consisting of magma. So magma is nothing but it is a molten rock material that means it is a melted rock. Okay, which will be having higher temperature and high pressures. Okay, so where this magma is present? This magma is present in the asthenosphere. I've already discussed in the interior of the earth. Asthenosphere is the upper part of the mantle, which is a weaker zone. So in that, the magma is present. Okay, so when it is inside the earth, it is called magma. When magma comes outside the earth, it is called lava. Okay, remember this. So magma is called, when it is inside the earth, and uh, it is referred to as lava when it comes outside the earth. Okay, this is terminology about volcanoes. Moving on, volcanic landforms. There are different types of volcanic landforms. So there are two types. First is intrusive landforms and next is extrusive landforms. So why these are caused? Suppose if the cooling of lava, or oh, sorry, if the cooling of magma is inside the earth, it will result in intrusive landform. If the cooling of lava is outside the earth, then it is it will result in extrusive landform. Okay, so intrusive or plutonic rocks, intrusive or plutonic rocks are formed generally when the magma cools inside the surface of the earth. So if magma, when it comes out through a volcano, so uh, some part of it will be left inside the that uh, small chamber right like a pipe of chamber where the magma comes out so when it cools inside the earth it will form the intrusive or plutonic rocks intrusive rocks or plutonic rocks and the cooling will be slower because already there are high temperature inside the earth so the cooling will be slower and the grains formed will be larger or coarse in nature okay and the very best examples are granite gabbro diorite all these are very best example the very most asked in exams is granite so granite is an example of intrusive or plutonic rock which cools inside the surface of the earth most of if you see if you granite will be near the surface of the earth only okay you don't find larger rocks of granite granite will be near the surface of the earth it will be cooling okay moving on to next type of uh, landforms of volcanoes that is extrusive or igneous rocks so igneous rock generally will listen in types of rocks this is the first rock igneous rock or extrusive rock so it the magma or comes out when it comes out it is called lava so lava cools out at a faster rate when it comes outside the surface of the earth because the temperatures are very less outside the surface because it interacts with atmosphere so it cools faster and the grains form will be smaller in size or fine in size the very best example are uh, basalt rhyolite all these are very best examples a very asked example is basalt okay see deccan trap or deccan plateau is a basalt uh, formation okay where we have our deccan plateau that is of volcanic landform of extrusive type okay 
igneous rock where the lava has cooled outside okay so deccan plateau is a very exam best example for basaltic formations okay, these are the two types of volcanic landforms one is intrusive and another is extrusive one is cooling inside one is cooling outside okay moving on to volcanic terminology so you can see the picture so where the source of magma is generally it lies in asthenosphere so that source of magma inside the surface is called as batholith okay so from that batholith where there is a weaker point that lava will that magma will be forced outside and it comes out as lava okay so you can see the lacolith lacolith is a saucer type uh, magma there right hope you can see dikes and sills dikes are vertical cooling magmas and sills are horizontal cooling magma types okay sills are horizontally cooled and dikes are the magma which are cooled vertically okay so it will erupt through a weaker point like through a vent that is called crater or sometimes it will form a cone and it will form a branches it is called a composite volcano we'll discuss all those things hope you understood this terminology okay so these are some of the terminology next moving on to types of volcanoes so if you see types of volcanoes the first is fisher volcano there is a normal uh, volcano the pressure is very less okay there is a weaker point but the pressure is very less and next is a shield volcano there is uh, somewhat the pressure is high it is falling as it is forming a small vent tops you can see that next is dome volcano it will form a dome shape in the uh, mountain in the top of the mountain or the hill okay generally mountains are uh, or uh, hills are more prone to volcanoes because at the edge they have the weaker point okay and the next is uh, ash cinder volcano this is also same the uh, pressure is also more and you can see the small branches forming okay that is called cinder cones or cinder okay and in composite volcano you can see the branches uh, very easily right that is a very composite volcano and the last one is caldera volcano you have a very steep uh, cone that is called a caldera volcano these are some of the types of the most repeated ones are composite volcanoes in the world where, where you see uh, along the pacific uh, rim of fire we call it as pacific rim or pacific ring of fire okay i will show you in the diagram moving on to examples of volcanic landforms so there are some types of uh, composite volcan volcanoes which repeat every year uh, which repeat are called active volcanoes which doesn't repeat are called dormant volcanoes so composite volcanoes include like mount fuji of japan mount st helens of usa mount uh, pinatubo of uh, philippines mount etna mount vesuvius of italy and uh, mount kilimanjaro of uh, tanzania okay these are some of the examples of composite volcan they generally come out through a vent and they, small branches of ash and cinder will flow through the side branches that is a composite volcano okay because of uh, smaller uh, vents on the other side of the main branch of the magma and next some more examples of shield volcanoes like uh, mount kailua and mauna loa in of hawaii islands of usa these are more prone to shield volcanoes okay these are less uh, dangerous than the composite volcanoes so some examples of shield volcanoes include mount kailu and mauna loa of hawaii in the usa these are more prone to the shield volcanoes types so those which repeat every year are called active volcanoes and those which doesn't repeat are called as dormant volcanoes and next distribution of volcanoes in the world so hope you can see the figure so most of the volcanoes are concentrated in the pacific ocean you, you can see that is called pacific ring of fire because it is more prone to volcanoes because there the juncture is between two plates i have already told you at the juncture of two plates is more prone to earthquakes and volcanoes in the world in the pacific ocean the pacific ring of fire exists and it is more prone to volcanoes okay in india we have only volcanic island that is called barren island in andaman nicobar islands okay that is more prone to volcanoes in india 
okay hope you have learned enough things in this topic we shall meet in the next session thank you so much